أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وأطهر المرسلين شفيع المذنبين وحبيب رب العالمين محمد صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم In the name of Allah the compassionate the most merciful all praise is due to Allah and may his peace and blessings be upon our beloved prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله we bear witness that no one is worthy of worship but Allah and we bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi is indeed his final messenger. The best of speech is the book of Allah and the best of guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who listen to the best of speech, the book of Allah and follow its commandments. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who come to know the best of ways, the way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi and make us amongst his followers. Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen. They say that life was very difficult in Mecca upon those who chose to follow the Prophet peace be upon him. And life was so difficult that when the Prophet peace be upon him publicized his mission and people openly started accepting Islam, they were ridiculed and they were ridiculed for being lowly, for being poor, for being foolish, following this man, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And then they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, surah number 94, surah al-inshirah or sharh, expansion or the opening. Eight simple verses that said what was going on. Believers are being ridiculed, they're being mocked. They come to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they tell him about the societal pressure that they are feeling and all the ridiculing that is taking place. The surah is revealed and they say that the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to the believers and he said, Abshiru, Abshiru, I have good news for you. Alam nashrah laka sadra? Have we not expanded thy heart for you? And they say that in Arabic, when you ask these types of questions, the point of the question is not that you are responding or that you are waiting for an answer. But here it said, has Allah not been good to you? Did Allah not expand your chest for you so that you accepted this, this mission? And they say here the heart is symbolic because that is the seat of knowledge and intellect. As you know that the Quran argues that intellect is an activity that takes place in the heart and not in the brain. They have hearts by which they do not understand. They're talking about finding neurons in the heart so much so that nowadays people are talking about the heart has a mind of its own. So that is the seat of knowledge as well as the seat of intelligence. So Allah said, did we not a big, make a big difference for you in thy heart? Did we not expand? Did we not open your heart for you? أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكْ وَوَضَعْنَا عَنْكَ وِزْرَكْ أَلَّذِي أَنْقَضَ ظَهْرَكْ وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ The verses go on to remind the Prophet, peace be upon him, about the different favors that Allah has had upon him and upon the believers. Did we not lift this burden from you that has weighed heavily on your back? And people say that, this has to do with things that were done in the, in the past. And then Allah said, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ Did we not elevate your remembrance? And the point here is not just remembering Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi, but the way that we remember Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi. How much reverence people uh, speak when they speak of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. We speak about his qualities, we speak about his character. And then comes the big deal. Indeed, with every difficulty, there will be ease. Indeed, with every difficulty, 
there will be ease. And when these verses were revealed to the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that the Prophet came to his companion and he said, Abshiru, Abshiru. He said, glad tidings, I have good news for you. And he recited these verses upon, upon them. Inna ma'al usri yusra. Indeed, with every difficulty, there shall come ease. And then repetition for the sake of emphasis. Indeed, with every difficulty, there shall come ease. Shaping the attitude, a positive attitude towards the future by the believers. By virtue of being a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, we are expected that our attitude towards the future is a positive attitude. In the midst of these difficulties that are taking place in Mecca, the Quran insists, Inna ma'al usri yusra. Indeed, with every difficulty, there is going to be ease. And that is why, my brothers and sisters, as believers, we cultivate, we nourish, we revive the sense of hope. A believer must be optimistic. Part of following Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, is that you must be an optimist. In the hadith, we are told that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Al-fa'lu husnul khuluq. They say that to be a pessimist or to be an optimist, that is the best character to have, the best quality in a character to have. And to be a pessimist is the worst type of character to have. So that this idea, when hope, when hope is gone, then in its place, there is only darkness. In its place, there is only hopelessness. In its place, there is only despair. Aisha, the Prophet's wife, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, tells us, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ يُحِبُّ الْفَأْلَ فِي أَمْرِهِ كُلِّهِ Said that the Prophet, peace be upon him, loved the idea of being an optimist in all of his affairs. And see, my brothers and sisters, Sisters are not here, but my brothers, sisters who are, inshallah, listening to us. They say that optimism is very crucial in times when there is difficulty. It's very easy to be optimistic when everything is going well. The same way we say that it is very easy to laugh when somebody tickles you. But if you laugh when somebody tickles you, that doesn't mean that you have a good sense of humor. Similarly, if you are an optimist when things are going well, that does not make you an optimist. Optimism is about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when there is a lot of darknesses that are around us. That is optimism. And that's what the Prophet ﷺ taught, taught to us. And we say this because of the circumstances that we are living in. It's very difficult. Man, subhanAllah, you just... You just listen to parents, you listen to children, you listen to kids, and just they tell you it is very miserable. You know, the house is becoming very chaotic. We are just, everybody is bored. It is very tight and it is very boring. And wallahi, there is a lot of truth into this. An optimist is not somebody that denies reality. That just makes us silly. You're not an optimist because you're denying reality. You're saying, look, despite the reality that is taking place, I choose to only think positive. Not that I am blind about these difficulties, but I only choose to see positive and utter that positivity. To illustrate, they say, Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, our beloved prophet, he was once walking with his disciples and they passed by a dead dog that smelled bad, that looked bad. So the people grabbed their noses and they just looked away and they say, Ma antana riha, uma aqbaha shaklu. He said, it smells very bad. It looks very this. And then Isa alayhi salam looked and he said, Subhanallah, ma abiyada asnanu. He said, glory be to Allah. It got white, you know, um, white teeth. And then the disciples said, Ya Nabi Allah, innahu kalbun mayyit. said, Prophet of Allah, it is just a dead dog. And then Jesus said, Ra'aytum aswa ma fihi wa takallamtum wa ra'aytu ahsana ma fihi wa takallam. said that, you saw the worst in it and you spoke. And I saw the best in it, and I spoke. Not that I did not smell what you smelled. Not that I did not see what you saw. 
but I chose to remain positive. Positive people, optimistic people, are pleasant people to be around because they are the ones that are the cheerleaders for everybody else. When everybody else is draining our energy, people who are optimistic, they are the one that boosts our energy. When everybody is crushing our soul, people who are optimistic are so pleasant, they build up our soul. They're not blind. They're not gullible. They're not simplistic, but rather, they are prophetic in that way that they have a positive attitude towards the future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in understanding, Ya Rabbil Alameen. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على رسوله المصطفى وعلى من بآثاره اقتفى. Being an optimist is an attitude that is firmly rooted in the heart. It is an attitude that shapes our look into the future. That inshallah something good will come out of this. Inshallah something positive. Inshallah this difficulty will come to an end because Allah promises. And they say that the Prophet, peace be upon him, commented on this and he said, لا يغلب عسر يسرين Because of the way that the language construct of this sentence, Allah refers to one difficulty, but yet Allah refers to two types of ease. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, no one difficulty shall overcome two types of ease. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will bring ease to you. We will bring ease to you without naming what that ease is without naming what that ease is. So have that positive attitude to the, to the future. And then my brothers, it is very important that this reflect in the words that we utter, the words that we use. Words have power. They can either crush our <laughs> spirits or they can lift our spirits. We want to pay attention to the power of words that we use. Ali, alayhi salam, used to say, مَنْ لَانَتْ كَلِمَتُهُ زَادَتْ مَحَبَّتُهُ So whoever speaks gently, pleasantly, he said that, find that people effortlessly, they tend to love that individual because of the beauty of the words that they utter. Let us make our presence with our families a pleasant present. A few, a, a, an optimistic, positive presence. That when people see us, they literally become more optimistic. When Baba, when Daddy comes home, everything lights up because of the positive attitude, the good energy that they're coming with. Not because we're giving people false hope, not because we are blind to what is going on, but because we have a positive attitude towards towards the future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a positive attitude towards the future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and enable us to become like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a beautiful character of being optimist, ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who shun away evil and who shun away pessimism, ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our presence wherever we may be a positive presence. A pleasant presence, Ya Rabbil Alameen. If any of us or our loved ones are going through difficult times, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease our pain. If any of us or our loved ones are not feeling well, may Allah grant us and them a speedy recovery. If any of our loved ones has passed away, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their souls. If any of us or our loved ones have lost the way, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring us back to his path, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring a positive outcome to this difficulty, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease our pain very soon, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our homes and our houses happy places, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anna. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab al-nar. عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله يذكركم 
واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر الله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقن الصلاة